1-800-926-9101. Hi, I'm Seth with AA Lock, Dock, and Security. Have you ever thought about the locks or security on your house or business? Have you ever wondered why the keys to your new car cost so much? Well, at AA Lock, Dock, and Security, we can help with securing your valuables. We can even replace those expensive transponder keys. We can give you the knowledge that no one else will. Call AA Lock, Dock, and Security at 867-1965. That's 867-1965. Putting the local back into radio. 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. W-O-C-A News. Variety. Information. Now. Keep your arms and legs on the inside at all times. This is James Snyder inviting you to join me each Sunday morning at 9.30 for Sunday Joy on 1370 AM, 96.3 FM. You're listening to WOCA, Ocala. All right, five minutes after 8 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in this Monday morning, President's Day. It is 34 degrees in Atlanta, Georgia. It's 8 degrees in Bridgeport, Connecticut. It's 7 degrees in Boston, Massachusetts. And it's 50 degrees here in Ocala, Florida. That's not, that's not too bad, huh? Galen, you know this on the phone from Life South Community Blood Center. Good morning, Galen. Hey, good morning, Larry, Robin. How are you all? Pretty good. Not so cold today, huh? Not so cold. Uh, I, I guess comparative. I'd rather it be 90. <laughs> yeah. Are you driving? I'll settle for 50 over 30, that's for sure. Yeah, sure am. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's a big... I don't have my coat on. I'm fine. This this studio oh, this studio on. takes a while to warm up when it's when it's cold. So let's see. We have a 20 after today, so we don't have as much time to have fun with you. But, uh, but, I, have, but I have a fun thing, and then I have something to ask you about sports. So I think I'll ask you about the sports thing first. And if we have time, then I'll get to the fun thing. Otherwise, we'll hold it off. Um, and, I, and I'll probably just tell you what it is and then ask you about the blood and then get back to the sports thing. What is, this, <laughs> what is the Peyton Manning story about? That's what I want to ask you, the sex thing. Because it didn't sound... Well, I'll, I'll, I'll discuss it on the other side. You, you know about it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. So bef- before we do that, how is the blood? What do we need to know? Uh, well, again, right now, um, this is a holiday, I guess. It's not really a holiday, but we really need just people to come out there and get the life and donate blood and and uh, not a lot of travel today, so that's really what we're concerned ourselves with. But we are still behind from uh, Christmas, still making up ground. So just give the gift of life. Donate blood. One donation saves three lives. Donate blood. And go to Penn Flooring and thank them for sponsoring this segment. They have some beautiful flooring for you to consider using as you remodel your home from the floor up. The uh, carpeting, the tile, the wood flooring, the linoleum, it's all beautiful and so many different choices. Go to their showroom to see what we're talking about. Penn Flooring is at 1201 Southwest 17th Street, just over the McKay-Williams Bridge, a few blocks from Pine Avenue. And also thank the folks over at Palm Garden. They have a, a bunch of different programs. Bottom line is they have skilled nursing care. How about that? Yes, thank you. And uh, you can go there for rehabilitation, perhaps following a heart uh, Surgery or some kind of heart uh, procedure, a pacemaker or something like that. What's the matter? What are you looking at? That's the door. Oh, yeah, they're all looking at the door. <laughs> <laughs> they're late opening the door. So thank they thank the folks late. at Palm Garden for um, for sponsoring this. They do some wonderful work. Yeah, make uh, make a plan to go visit them and and get a tour of the building. Yeah, I know we we do these automatic doors. We just take it for granted. You walk right up to them and they didn't open. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're they're 8 minutes late for opening the door. You know what, the Galen, you know what it is when when uh in our day when we were kids and we were watching a TV show and the door would open as you walked up to it. It was so cool to see that because we thought, wow, <laughs> one, one day that'll be real. Yeah. And it is. It's so awesome. So now if you look at that as a, as a kid now, you look at that you don't think twice. It's oh, the door opened up. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but think about it. Back when we were kids, right? You had to Exa- you had pull the door, it. push, pull push, it. push, 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 pull. Yeah, they were so heavy. That's right. Star Trek. Star Trek, yes, and and others too. Um, get smart. <laughs> oh yeah, that was cool. All right, uh, cool. let's see. New. Okay, so yesterday, nude. N- well, new documents is what oh, I'm saying. I thought you said new. New yeah. documents reveal additional lawsuits between Peyton Manning and the sex assault accuser. So this came to my attention because I was listening to the radio yesterday, this radio station, and the, the sports guy was talking about this, and he was making a good point. He said, you can't say anything about it because you don't know what happened that day. Mm-hmm. Back in 1996 or something? Oh, 1996. 1996. 
Oh yeah, he was in college. Yeah, yeah ni- he was in college. Nineteen years old. So what? What is the whole story, or what? What do you know? Uh, well, basically, he was charged with sexual assault, and um, rather than making this a court case or anything else, he settled with the accuser for an undisclosed sum of money. Um, and he, I guess he's had to do it several times. I, and, and this is where it gets iffy to me because I've read different reports. So it, it's not dissimilar from uh, what happened to um, Jameis Winston in Florida State to bring it more current, except for Jameis Winston fought it and then he won in court. Whereas Peyton, because he comes from a lot more money, they obviously the Jameis Winston just paid him off, paid this lady off, I should say. So. Uh, we don't know the truth, but we do know that he he definitely made a payment of some kind. Okay, so so, so help me understand this. I, the way it sounded, according to the guy on the radio yesterday morning, the sports guy, this was in a locker room after a game. Right. A report, a yep. female reporter, came into the locker room, and yep. she she says in the report, he, th- this is the language in the in the uh, let's see in the the court trial in Polk County, in the Florida court trial. Right. Not right. merely mooning. <laughs> <laughs> so did he? Uh, it, it says here. Let's see. Uh, well, and that's again. That's when it gets. Well, we don't know what happened. I mean, yeah. he was nineteen. I mean, we do stupid things when we're young. Um, you know, and then we could argue whether or not you know female reporters around a nineteen-year-old kid. You know, I mean, that's that's not something he's ever had to deal with before. It says the, so, uh, the complaint did not explicitly refer to physical contact being made. Correct. And that's, yeah, that's, that's a big part of it. So it was it's, just visual? I mean, she just saw, what do you call it? His, Robin called his it his prize. prize. His prize. <laughs> <laughs> I, again, it, 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 there is some silliness attached, but then there is also, a, I read a report that there was physical contact. So I, I don't really know. It, because the other, the, they say the physical contact didn't actually make it to the to the trial. I, I I don't know why this is all coming out now. I mean, it's really old information. So yeah, but he paid three hundred thousand dollars, though. I mean, there must have been there must be something to it, not just a lark. I and mean, that's that's the whole thing. And and uh, but again, it happened in nineteen ninety six. Oh, her. Oh, she's I'm a doctor. Pay, uh, Dr. Jamie Norton. Now she's a doctor. Do- now, doctor, yeah. Okay, but she said, this is what I, I just found. She said, uh, he pulled his pants down and exposed himself to me as I was bent over examining his foot. <laughs> 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 I reported this to my supervisor who referred it to it as a prank, and no action was taken in regard to this until after I formally complained. Wow. Men and women are so go. different from one another, aren't they? <laughs> I, I again. I, he was nineteen. Yeah, I was nineteen. I, I, I it, it's uh, is it that big a deal? Yeah, I, I mean, I, I'm not disqualifying her feelings. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, it was probably time, smelly. I, I, you know? I don't know. It was know. probably after the game. She was examining <laughs> his foot, and it was really smelly. It, yeah. and, you, know, you don't want to be up close and personal with that. Oh, happens. gosh. Okay. <laughs> All right, good. We got time for the fun part. That was fun. Yeah, I just, yeah, I, I just think it's kind of, it's, it's, I just, I'm, I'm amazed that people are bringing this up. All right, I have ten words that actually meant something different a long time ago. If you're reading an old okay. book, if you're reading an old book and you come across these words, you you might need to know that the, the definition is different. The word moody, yeah. the word moody, back in the 1400s, meant brave. Yeah. It meant brave. If so. Oh. It, yeah, if Joan of Arc, and in fact, there is a book which talks of Joan of Arc being moody, it doesn't mean that she was, you know, wishy washy. She was brave. Oh, yeah, she was, that she had PMS oh. then. She was brave. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, artificial means fake today, right? Yeah. Uh, but it, actually, the, in the 14th century, it meant very somebody who was very skilled. Artificial. Yeah. Huh. In the 14th century, if you if you were reading a book about, you know, John the blacksmith was artificial, <laughs> it means he was he was very skilled. Wow! All right, a bully today, of course, is is a jerk, right? Mm-hmm. But back bully. back bully, in the old, <laughs> <laughs> the word actually did not take on its intimidating meaning until the 17th century, because a bully came to describe a pimp 
who protected his prostitutes. But the original meaning, boy, the <laughs> the original <laughs> meaning of bully was uh, a lover. Oh my! Oh. He's my bully. He's it's Valentine's bully. Day. He gave me look what he gave me. Look what my bully <laughs> gave me. Wow. Uh, the word nice. If you were reading something from the eight from the fourteenth century. The word nice meant foolish. He's such a nice boy. Oh, <laughs> I like that. Wow. How yeah. did that change so dramatically? Yeah, really? Yeah. Uh, sad. The, the word sad. Back in the 1300s, uh, it was meant you had eaten too much after dinner. You had eaten too much food at dinner, I mean. Oh, I am, oh okay. I am so sad. <laughs> <laughs> I, how, how does that change? It's crazy. I, I, I ate so much. I'm from so sad to sad. full. I am so full. Yeah, I'm so sad. So again, if you're reading an old book, he had his he had his Thanksgiving dinner, mm-hmm. and he was so sad. You you would think, well, I wonder why. They didn't have Thanksgiving yeah. in the 1400s. <laughs> <laughs> well, whatever. All right, and, and <laughs> all right, and finally, finally, okay. There, there's more than this, but I have to end on this one. Because this is the take-home one. This is the one that's going to be like, what, what was the word that we ended up using all the time? Hangry. Hangry. This yes. word is going to be like hangry. You're going to take this one with you the rest of your life, Galen. Are you ready? I'm ready. The word is fizzle. 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 If something fizzles out today, it's, it's like, oh, it's a, it failed. It didn't work, right? right. It fizzled. Sure. out. Okay. Back in the 1530s, when it made its first appearance, the word fizzle means was meant to break wind without noise. <laughs> we call fizzle occasionally, Larry. We call we call that silent but deadly today. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Back then SBD. it was it was a fi- that's right SBD. <laughs> you now have a new word. It's fizzle. Fizzle. Yes. Fizzle. Okay. So if you're in a if you're in a room and there's no dog around, yes. and you didn't hear anything, but it starts smelling bad, yeah. somebody fizzled. Yes, somebody fizzled. I like tell it. my son he'll have. I like to it, Larry. Now. That's that's good stuff. This is this is definitely a word you'll be telling your two boys. <laughs> fizzle. Did you fizzle? Yeah. Who fizzled? Well, you know, if they're at the age where they don't like fizzle, they just like to let it go. <laughs> you know, loud and proud. And... <laughs> well, you know what you got to tell them. You know, when you get a girlfriend, you better learn how to fizzle those things. Exactly. Well, they don't, yeah, that, it's a skill. I mean, let's be honest. Right? We've been alive long enough to master that skill. You I, oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, you just don't want a squeaker. That's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> the SBD. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Uh, it, it, may, it just may be the very first time all these years of talking to Galen that that subject came up. Exactly. I don't think I that think came so. up before. I don't before. think it's ever come up yet. I think I called it seepage before. Seepage. Seepage. Yes, I like that. <laughs> seepage. <laughs> all right. Uh, where's the Bloodmobile today? Bloodmobile today is at the Lowe's in Summerfield. All right, go to go to the Lowe's in Summerfield. Donate blood. We yeah. don't we don't have a long time with Galen today because we have a twenty after guests talking about something. I can't mm-hmm. remember what it is. Yep. Oh, asthma. Asthma. Be yeah. Asthma. Yeah. All right, Galen. We you, you have a great day. Thank you for all you do, and uh, we'll talk to you tomorrow. Sounds great. Thanks, you guys. All right. Bye-bye. Happy President's Day, by the way. Yes. Go to Penn Flooring. Buy floors. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's gone. All right. We'll we'll take a little break. We'll be right back. weather is brought to you by myfwc.com. Safe boating is no accident. It'll be mostly cloudy this Monday with a shower or thunderstorm around mainly during the afternoon hours. The high 74 to 78. Cloudy Monday night with off and on rain and even a rumble of thunder. Low 60 to 64. For tomorrow, morning clouds and a shower or two followed by some afternoon clearing. The high 75 to 79. Wednesday a beautiful day with sunshine high 70 to 74. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. 